Hey YouTube, uh, it's been a while since I've done a video on uh, sunglasses. I've done a few videos on Oakleys. Uh, I haven't bought any in a while. I just ordered another pair the other day, but I did order these. Got these a few days ago, and I wanted to try some Under Armour. I've never tried them before. I found a couple of pairs online that that look good, and uh, so I went ahead and ordered me a pair. Um, these are the. UA Igniter. I don't know if you can see that. UA Igniter 2.0 series. Um, real tree camo. Anyway, they're not quite as expensive as the uh, um, as the Oakleys, but you'll see why. They're not. They're not as the quality is not quite the same. No, I, I didn't expect it to be as good as Oakley, not for the difference of price. They are nice. They do come with a nice microfiber pouch. Um, I wish there would have been more videos on them on YouTube. There wasn't a whole lot of unboxings of Under Armour sunglasses. So I kind of took a chance. They came up to about $120 with shipping. So I'm really not. No, I'm not, not out that much. Uh, they're nice, very light, very light. Uh, they're just the uh, gray lenses, maybe black. I think they're gray. One cool feature is the adjustable nose piece. You just squeeze the rubber part of the nose piece, make it smaller, make it wider. It'll sit lower on your face or sit higher on your face. Now I have a probably a smaller than average head for an adult. These are adult sunglasses. And they're they're small, they they sit kind of small on me. Um, to compare them with something else, I took out a pair of Oakley flak jackets. I guess closest comparison for size. Uh, there's not not a whole lot of difference. The arms are about the same length. Uh, the Under Armors are actually wider in the in the lenses, just a little bit wider, not a whole lot. But to me, just the way they sit, the way they feel, the quality is not not nearly anything like Oakley. So my advice is don't buy a pair of Under Armour thinking they're going to be like your Oakleys because they're not. Uh, they sit. I find they sit a lot like the Oakley Fast Jackets, which are pretty comfortable, a little heavier. The Under Armors are a lot lighter than the Fast Jackets, but approximately the same frame size. Um, another kind of cool thing, I guess, is these arms. They're, they're like a rubber, they call them satin, I guess. This is all rubber arm here, so you're not going to snap them in here. But to me, it feels like they can be snapped up closer to the eyes, closer to the lens. It's just the material. It's just not, not Oakley quality. Don't get them thinking you're getting Oakley quality. You're not. The, the lenses are good quality. I'll, I'll give them that much. They are a very good quality lens. Not as good as Oakley, but they're close. I'm sure if I bought one of the, uh, I forget the name of them, but they're almost $200. You're gonna get what you pay for. Um, I have another. I have my eye on another pair of Under Armour. Uh, they're the Zone Two series, which are really nice. I'm a little hesitant to order them until I get to a store somewhere to try them or try that style. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, there's just not a lot of description videos out there for Under Armour sunglasses. Um, I'm trying to cover some of the basics for you. Uh, I don't know if you have any questions, hit me up, but for $120, I'm a little disappointed, I'll say that. I was going to order another pair, and instead I went with a pair of half jackets, something I don't own yet, I got fast jackets, flag jackets, racing jackets, whatever, but I ordered a nice, I ordered a pair, I'll probably do a video on that when I get them, they're just the navy blue. Uh, with a black iridium lens, but anyway, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you these these Under Armors. Uh, if there's anything I can help you guys with, if you're thinking of purchasing any, uh, 
I can try to help you out. Just give me a shout. Thanks for watching. Bye.